GK customers want their applications to be instantly available to their users, regardless how many users are trying to access their systems. Scalability and scaling has historically been a challenge in Kubernetes. But with introduction of the recent changes to GK Autopilot, I think we've been able to tackle many of those challenges in a cost-efficient way. In this video, we're going to talk about container-optimized compute for GK Autopilot and how it makes your scaling faster. GK Autopilot is a fully managed version of Kubernetes. As a user, you're responsible only for the applications, and GKE controls the node and creating new nodes and scaling an application on your behalf. But with that comes the challenge. If your application needs to scale, GK will first need to create new nodes, and then your application gets to scale on those nodes. But for really highly demanding applications that need to scale very quickly, sometimes you have to wait for these new nodes to provision. Our users that needed this kind of features often use techniques like balloon pods, where they created these dummy pods and held onto nodes for those demanding scaling use cases. It was costly because you're holding onto resources that are not being actively used, but also hard to maintain. With the container optimized compute platform, we set ourselves a mission to provide the users with near real time, vertically and horizontally scalable compute that provides capacity when needed at the best price and performance. We've redesigned the compute stack running GKE Autopilot, and we are now able to provide the customers with flexible compute where needed and when needed which at the end of the day means that our users are able to benefit from up to seven times faster post-scheduling runtime. But getting compute faster is just part of the solution. In order to be able to leverage this compute, you also need to be able to scale your application faster. And with Container Optimized Compute, we've done exactly that, uh, speeding up our horizontal pod autoscaler. And with the introduction of in-place pod resize in Kubernetes 1.33, we are now able to resize your pods without disruption. All of that is now available out of the box in GK Autopilot. For getting low latency auto scaling reaction time, we have introduced a high performance HPA profile. It provides highly consistent horizontal scaling reaction time, up to three times faster HPA calculation, higher resolution metrics for improved scheduling decisions, and now you can scale up to 1,000 HPA objects at a predictive latency. And in this demo, you can see the power of the container optimized compute platform. So we start with one pod and we change the replica count from one to 10. And you can see how fast the new pods are getting scheduled. You can try out container optimized compute on autopilot today. All you need to do is create a new GK autopilot cluster with HPA profile performance. In order to benefit from the improvements of container optimized compute on GK autopilot, make sure that your workload uses the general purpose compute class. Container optimized compute works best with services that need to also scale gradually. And while we do support various types of workloads, you will see most improvement in the workloads with smaller resource requests. Although Container Optimized Compute Platform works for many types of workload, it's not currently suitable for one pod per node deployment types like anti-affinity situations or for batch workload. In this video, we learned about Container Optimized Compute Platform and how it can improve your application auto-scaling in GK Autopilot. We hope you will try it out and share your feedback with us.